At National Grid, we're committed to reaching net zero greenhouse gas emissions by the year 2050. And part of that clean energy transition will include networked geothermal, a way to heat and cool homes and businesses by using and sharing renewable thermal energy from the Earth itself. So what does it look like when networked geothermal comes to your neighborhood? Well, it all starts with building a network of underground pipes. And that means construction similar to when a gas line is installed or replaced. These underground pipes circulate water along with an environmentally friendly ingredient to prevent freezing and connect with a series of geothermal boreholes that go deep into the earth, where the temperature remains constant year round. That steady temperature allows water to be constantly cooled or warmed as needed, providing thermal energy for heat pumps in connected buildings on the surface. Made from the same materials used in the gas network, this underground piping system will be extremely robust and long-lasting. While the loop is being installed outside in the neighborhood, important energy efficiency upgrades can begin inside of buildings too. Careful air sealing and insulation improvements can reduce wasted energy and make buildings more comfortable year-round. Then, a heat pump system is installed in each home or business to replace current heating and air conditioning equipment. If that requires electrical services upgrades, that gets handled too. And since no two buildings are exactly the same, each installation is a bit different. Some might use existing ducts or install new ductwork, while others might replace hot water or steam heating systems with a ductless system. But whatever's needed, once building interiors are ready, the process ends with connecting every heat pump to the network. And there you have it. That's networked geothermal, energy that's reliable, safe, renewable, and shared by a whole neighborhood. To learn more, visit ngrid.com slash geothermalMA.